Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, but this is Bear Jet 755. Today I'd like to talk about women as leaders. That leadership role that is usually taken over by men, let's talk about how we can have more women in those roles and why it's important to have more women in those roles. And I'd like to dedicate this episode of Bear Jet 755 to three women who I think, actually, you know what? four women who I think are absolutely incredible. I'll start from the top down. My grandmother, who lived to be 100 years old. What an incredible woman she was. She was living in Armenia in the early 1900s, and when the Turks were massacring the Armenians, her family sent her away on horseback when she was in her late teens. She went to Syria to live with some family there. They treated her like servants like a servant more than a family member. So she left there, went to Paris, and eventually writing letters back and forth to friends in, in, uh, in Cuba, she took a boat with four other Armenian women for one month, not a cruise ship, a boat to Cuba where she met and married my grandfather. And they eventually came to the United States and she created a life for our family because of the bravery and the guts that she showed to move on from a tragedy in life. Out of that tragedy, she created an incredible life for all of us. The next person is my mom, probably the most influential person in my life. Not just the most influential woman, but the most influential person in my life. Mom was one of the strongest people I have ever met. Unfortunately, I lost my mom about nine years ago. She had a fierce battle with lung cancer. And if you could have seen the way she dealt with this gracefully, intelligently, and bravely, every day meeting each and every day head on like no other woman I had ever witnessed before. She met each day to live, every single day. She didn't spend her time in bed. She didn't feel sorry for herself. She understood she did it to herself because she was a smoker. And that's a message for all you smokers out there. Quit today, quit now. You don't want to go through what my mother went through. But I digress. She was an incredibly strong woman. But throughout our lives, she taught my sisters and I how to be more, how to elevate ourselves, how to be strong, how to move forward in life, how not to let small things get in your way. She was an incredible, incredible person. The next person is, we've got to get to my sisters, right? Because it trickles right down to them. My older sister, who is an incredible businesswoman. She, she worked for herself. She was one of the very first women to go into civil engineering at Drexel University. And now she owns her own company. After going to go into business with some men, she realized, why am I doing this? I can do this myself. And she became an incredible, incredible businesswoman and business person and leader in her field. And she did that because of the strength that was taught to us by our grand, grandmother and mother. And she in herself has that strength as well. One of the very first women to go into engineering. Imagine being in a male dominated world of engineers and being one of the very few women there. Interestingly enough, when that happened, I, I was oblivious to it. I was getting ready to go to college myself and I never thought about, thought twice about the fact that she was going into engineering. I thought that was pretty cool. It never even dawned on me, wait, you're, you're a woman? You're going into engineering? That's kind of crazy. It, it was amazing that she did that. In hindsight, it's an amazing thing that she did. My younger sister is a lot like my grandmother. She decided to emigrate from Philadelphia, 3,000 miles across the country, to California, where she she was a graphic designer and she felt that that was the place she needed to be. Much to the chagrin of my mom and to the rest of us as well, she moved 3,000 miles away with no job, no anything, just a few friends. And from that, she's created an incredible lifestyle. She eventually promoted to being one of the top people in Mattel. And now she decided to change careers and move into entrepreneurship like my sister and I. And she's becoming a pastry chef taking on new challenges and new leadership roles. Within three weeks of graduating from pastry chef school, my sister had one of her creations on The Chew, on ABC, on national television. In three weeks, who does that? Ladies, 
You are absolutely incredible people. You can achieve everything and more than we as men can. We have a handicap. We don't have the type of emotional intelligence that you do. We don't have that feeling of empathy. And I don't mean to a person, but in general, we don't have that empathy and that feeling where we understand another person and what they're going through like women do. And because of that, that helps you to be incredible leaders because the leaders and leadership is not about telling other people what to do. It's not about managing. It's about leading. It's about taking your arm and putting it around someone and saying, let's go. Let me help you. Let me support you. Let me give you the tools necessary. Let me give you the things you need to use to accomplish the goal that you want to accomplish. Ladies, you are better networkers. You are better conversationalists. You are better at almost everything than we are. I hate to say it, but it's true. It's so true. Don't sell yourself short. You know, I've, I've read a lot about this topic and the biggest place where you all fall short is your self-confidence versus the self-confidence that men have. That's the only place. So if you can believe in yourself more, if you can understand that you have so much more to offer than we do, that confidence level will go through the roof and you can do things that we could never dream of. Ladies, here's to you. Hats off to you. You are our next incredible leaders. You lead at home and you lead at work. You do both at the same time. I don't know how you do it. I came from the world of education and I taught high school for 13 years and then for 15 years after that, I taught elementary school. Elementary school is predominantly, the teachers there are predominantly women, which is fine. But what I could never understand this made this was something I, I know that I couldn't do. I would ask a lot of my female colleagues a lot, how is it that you can go from being in a classroom of children all day long, 20 children, 25 children, screaming, needing you, having all kinds of needs and teaching them and keeping them under control, and then go home and deal with your own children after that? I couldn't imagine doing that on a daily basis basis. That has got to be one of the most difficult challenges to face every day that I could ever imagine. Ladies, you have incredible fortitude. You have incredible endurance. You can withstand more than we can. It's time for you to begin to take on more leadership roles. The world needs you today. The world needs more people like you. The world needs more leadership in the style that only women can bring to it. That's my message for today. Remember, like bathing, motivation doesn't last. That's why we need to do both daily. This is Baird's Jane is saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. And hey, listen, make some comments in the Facebook section below. Have a greater day, everyone.